Thanks for coming back to Prime Basketball. I just thought I'd throw this quick one up for my own memory. Uh, as it's probably slipping away sometimes. But uh, anyhow, I was going to throw this up so later I can watch it. And remember just this historic performances of Russell Westbrook and why I'm starting to collect his cards. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. I'm trying to sell cards and my wife's going, why are you buying cards, honey? And I'm like, uh, I have no answer for her. I'm like, the future? And she's like, uh, we got more cards we can sell? Yeah. That's the conversations I'm having right now, guys. You probably are going through it, too. There's probably a few of you out there. But anyway, this is from... <laughs> Y'all are wondering why I'm selling cards so I can buy more cards. Isn't that crazy? I, I'm stupid. I'm buying cards with money I'm making. But I told her, look, I'm saying I'm saving at least 50%. How about that? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sell what we got and use 50% of it to reinvest in more cards because I think there's a future in it. I mean, heck, look what it's done for us so far. And look why I'm investing in Russell Westbrook. Listen to this. Short. So now Westbrook needs three triple doubles over the team's last six games to break Oscar Robertson's record. Washington will play the Raptors on Thursday. He has a triple double in three of his last four games against Toronto. On Saturday, the Wizards play the Pacers on the road. Indiana could be the first team the Westbrook gets to ten triple doubles against in his career. Then he gets two shots at the Atlanta Hawks on the 10th and the 12th of May. Atlanta, one of eight teams against which Westbrook has not logged a triple-double this season. So he'll be fired up for that one. Washington then returns home to face the Cavaliers on the 14th. Westbrook checked the triple-double box in their last meeting. That was on April 30th. The Wizards then close out the regular season against the Hornets. Westbrook has just two triple-doubles against Charlotte in his career, tied with the Celtics for his fewest against any opponent. So that's what he has left to try to chase down the big O. I think the puck's hard to follow. follow okay, well, anyhow, ESPN will probably block this one too. They blocked a couple of them, but you know what? They're still on my channel where I can watch them, and that's the only reason I'm recording these guys. But I always appreciate y'all showing up and tuning in for those who will view it. And uh, if you subscribe and share and all that other stuff, I'm I'm not doing this for... for uh, popularity but i'm thinking that eventually there'll be other people like me that try to figure out how to keep their memory and uh the memories of uh what's going on in the sport sports world just by throwing up your own hits you know but anyway you can keep it for yourself or share it and pistols firing